So my name is Ivan Coles. Here today we're going to be making the classic rice pilaf. First, we'll start with the clarified butter, which we're going to melt, and we'll also be having olive oil and some onions, as well as bay leaves and also long grain rice we have right here, and as well as chicken stock and some salt. We'll first start off by peeling the onion so we get the good part of it and then we won't need as much so I'll go ahead and cut it in half. This won't be necessary so I'll go ahead and put it over here and now all I have to do is dice the onion. This is diced, so this should be enough for the amount of cooking that we'll be doing. This is the chicken stock that we will be eating. Uh, okay. That should be right about that amount. And we will be eating it for approximately 20 minutes. Meanwhile, I'm going to melt that butter to turn it into clarified butter. This portion should give me approximately about one ounce of clarified butter after we pour it into the here I'm turning the stove on to low temperature. Here we have a clarified butter up to one ounce that I'll be pouring and the to here. And here's my olive oil that I'll also measure in one ounce. I want to make sure it's one ounce here because it all could change if you taste if not well measured. Then after this pouring, I'll have to take my 3 ounce onions skin. This is my 3 ounce onions that I'll be pouring right here And after everything, my I have to put in the bay leaf and the liquid and then I have to let it saute for quite a maybe a few minutes five to ten that's it now that the onions are tender we're gonna add one pound of rice Now that the rice has been cooking for a little bit, remember we cannot let the rice become brown. So what we'll do at this point is pour four cups of chicken broth into the rice. There we go. Now I'm just going to stir it for a little bit until the chicken broth could evaporate and then now I'll be seasoning the rice with some salt as you can see and I will be preheating the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Hi, we're gonna close the rice right now. We'll be putting it inside the oven, which is already preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So let's take it slowly right here. And 
This process should take 20 to 30 minutes and then it'll be ready to be eaten. Now that the rice has been cooking for about 20 minutes at a temperature of 250 degrees Fahrenheit, it should be ready to go and I will check that right now. It is pretty hot right now. I'm turning the oven off. Eating the rice slowly, gently. As you can see, the rice looks very good right now. It smells good too. Here we have the final results of the rice. Came out to be very good color, not too brown, not too white, and really it smells very good. Now we're moving on to the country braised chicken. We have our flour, our salt, our black pepper, and uh, paprika, the cayenne pepper, the chickens over here, and also the whole butter of course, the vegetable oil, the tomatoes, the onions, the green bell peppers, and the garlic cloves chopped right here. Also we have uh, the curry powder, the maize powder, and the chicken stock over here and as well as our almonds toasted. Thank you. Hi, I'll be pouring six ounces of flour into the pan, as you can see. And one tablespoon of black pepper. One tablespoon of paprika. And also, tablespoon of cayenne pepper and last but not least one tablespoon of salt as well As you can see, the flour is already well seasoned. Now the next step is to take the chicken and shred it into that flour. Like this, for example. I will be pouring one ounce of butter into the frying pan, as you can see. And followed by that, I will be pouring also one ounce of vegetable oil into the frying pan as well. Now this until it gets a little bit warmer. Now that the surface of the pan is hot enough, we will go ahead and taste the chicken.
now that the chicken is brown on one side, what we have to do is simply turn it around so the other side gets evenly brown like the other part. While the chicken is frying and almost ready, we will be putting another frying pan and with some oil that I already poured into it, we'll add up some garlic, some chopped up garlic, as well with onions. tomato sauce. Well, we, we will be stirring the tomato sauce with all the ingredients so it has a good touch of taste. Now that the chicken is done with the fry, fry I will be placing it into the tomato sauce, which I mixed it with all the other ingredients before. So here we go. Now that the chicken is cooking, we're going to let it cook for approximately 20 to 30 minutes and it smells very good right now actually and I cannot wait to eat it as we speak. Now we're going to place the chicken into the, the bowl. The last step here is to garnish the chicken with some crushed almonds. Now it's ready to serve.